Hi, I'm David Wells, and I'm here in the offices of Creative Live doing kind of a demonstration shoot to show you what I'm doing when I'm photographing, both in terms of the actual photographing and my thinking process, especially when I'm looking at the back of the camera to see what I've got and what I need to keep going forward photographing. So obviously this is a demonstration shoot for the Creative Live lesson, but fundamentally this is the kind of thing you encounter anytime working as a photographer. You have some idea what you're going to see, but then you get there and the reality of what is in front of you is oftentimes different than what you had in mind. So the first thing I do is I'm literally going to be looking around thinking, what might be interesting? What are the points of problems? I'm going to do all of that before I even start photographing. I walked around in advance kind of cheating a little bit and I noticed that there's a lot of stuff that people do to personalize the space. So I'm thinking that might be one of the things that I'd be photographing. I'm also, of course, going to be photographing people using the space. I see I've got two people working over there. Um, I'm also going to be looking at things like the bright light coming in from this side, darker light over here, going to do some stuff photographing into the sun to get the silhouettes and some reflections off the screen. And then I'll probably go around the other side and photograph back with the light over my shoulder to get softer light. So in walking around, I saw this personal note, somebody left somebody else at the desk here. It says, see you manana. There seem to be a lot of these small notes around here. Okay, so what I've got in the foreground is the note, and the background is the keyboard. And as I change position, down here, for example, the note's really big and the keyboard's pretty small. As I get up here, they get more equalized. And then by the time I'm here, they're virtually 50-50. I shoot a lot of pictures when I'm photographing because the one thing I never want to do is come back and look on the computer and say, oh, I should have been higher, I should have been lower, I should have been left, or I should have been right. So my theory is shoot all the different pictures and then decide later in terms of whether I want the horizontal or the vertical. Next thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to look at it as horizontal there. So this is another space that has another personalized note on it. And for, for now, that's the thing that's caught my attention the most is just these notes and how I think people are trying to humanize what is obviously a very technologically based space because of all the giant monitors and stuff like that. In the last picture, the personal note was at the bottom of the image and the keyboard was at the top. This is the exact opposite. So I'm not sure quite yet what I'm going to do, but I'm... Maybe not. I'm using Olympus Micro Four Thirds cameras. Uh, one of the things I love about these cameras, and you've seen it already in the short time I've been working, is these folding screens. Um, I've been doing photography long enough to go back to the old twin lens cameras that you looked straight down. And so I'm very much used to this idea of using a, twin, using a camera where you look straight down just like this. And so I'm looking at a picture right now that's slowly coming together. This is going to be self-portrait with self-portrait. I'm going to be called self-portrait with video camera. Got a little bit of burnt highlights that I got to work on there. So what happened in that case is I was actually literally looking at the post-it note right here, and I couldn't get it to work because I think there's too much other stuff there. But I noticed this great reflection in the monitor. So that's what I started working on next. And a big, big part of my process is always trying to be open to that kind of change where, okay, I started with one idea for a picture, which was about the post-it note and sort of the personalization, but then I realized that that reflection was actually the best thing. So I'm gonna, I did that for a while. It leads me to believe that there's probably more reflections to do around here. So my next thought probably would be to go all the way around and look at the different reflections as I go. And so the shot I'm working with right now is the two people who are silhouetted against the glass and then the exact same thing of them reflected in this slightly dusty monitor. And what happened just now was very typical of what I do, do. I was focusing on the two people working in the background, then I noticed something in the foreground. So I shot one version focused on the people in the background, 
All right. And then one version focused on a cable in the foreground. One is not better than the other, but again, I never want to go back and say, oh, I should have shot this or I should have shot that. So I'm going to look at the same picture with a different lens. This is a pretty typical setup for me. I've got, uh, after the conversion factor, this lens is a 24 to 80, 2.8 throughout, and it's a zoom, so I can experiment with the focal length. And on the other camera, I'll typically have one fixed focal length lens, either telephoto or a wide angle, depending on the situation I'm shooting. Both of them are the Olympuses with a nice folding screen so I can get unusual angles. Um, and so I'm just gonna toggle back and forth between the two different bodies and typically figuring out sort of the general scene with the zoom and then maybe using the fixed focal length lens to get a little better control over the depth of field.